Hey guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. I am profusely sweating. I've got a workout for you. You've got to try it. It's a full arm workout, biceps, triceps, even shoulders, and all you're using are resistance bands. This is for the ladies, it's for the males, whatever your goals may be when it comes to building strength, building overall size, tone this definition in your arms. You've got to do this workout. Okay, I've got six exercises for you triceps, biceps, you're gonna superset them. It is in a circuit style training, okay? So you're gonna do your set, you're gonna break for 45 seconds. You can either do that set again, or you can move on to the next section of exercises. Either way, you're gonna circle back around and do each set three times. These workouts here are actually safe for low back pain, but if you do have some underlying issues, make sure you check out my workshop. It's a free five quick fixes to a pain-free workout. It's a very, very common issue. People come to the gym, they start working out, and their back starts getting smoked. It gets tight, tense, symptoms start flaring up. You may have had a fusion, some kind of history of low back pain or surgery sites or anything like that. If that is you, make sure you watch the workshop first. You can apply it to life as well inside and outside the gym. It's free, it's for you. You gotta watch it before you do any kind of working out. You don't need much equipment at all. I'm just using my resistance bands that I have here. I actually broke one. Mid rep, snapped it, smacked my eyeball, I fell to the ground, I started crying. I may or may have not have gotten it on camera. I think I got something in my eye, may have to go to the hospital. You're gonna have to just watch it. Try the workout out. Let me know in the comment section below which one you like the best, how you feel afterwards, how many rounds did you get through? Did you get crazy and go all advanced and do four, five, six rounds, or did you stick to the three? Let me know, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, share the video with your friends. It's not all about dumbbells, it's not all about barbells. Guys, you can do and get stronger. Ladies, you can get toned, defined, stronger arms, stronger core, everything you're doing with simple resistance bands that you can get anywhere, most gyms have them look for them and get it done. All right, so the first superset we're gonna do, very simple. I got my light bands, reds here, two reds. Uh, you can have other kinds of bands, like ones with handles and stuff like that. I, got, I like using these ones. If you're newer, you have sensitive hands, you can wear some gloves, like some gardening gloves work really good. But I'm gonna show you two exercises. We're gonna superset them, okay? So we're just gonna show you one set of these and we'll jump right in. So the first one is a squat curl. So what we're gonna do in a squat position, what I don't want you to be is super hunched over or your back is or your butt is tucked under. I want you in a good squat position. For someone who's doing this for the first time, what you can do is rest your elbows on your knees. Once you get into this position, and you're gonna balance yourself out. Like you're gonna think you're gonna fall over, but you actually won't, okay? Make it a little bit harder. You can take your elbows off of your knees, hold the squat position, and you're pulling towards your forehead. Just like this. Key with this one is to make sure your elbows are staying in a good, consistent position. So you're not doing anything like this. Do, do a couple more here. Boom. So that's that, Now I'm gonna take the same band Attach it up here above this one on my rig. You can use a bed post, you can use a tree. Whatever you have available, be creative. We're gonna superset this with now the back of the arm, so the triceps. Very simple, very similar squat position here. I'm gonna grab a, a resistance. Obviously, the further up you grab, the harder it's gonna be, so you can pick and choose where you're gonna be at. Bring your elbows back and you're kicking back. Same thing with this, keep your lower back relaxed. You're not trying to contract or be super rigid. Allow things to just relax. Elbows are staying up best you can. You're kicking back. Couple more here. In between sets, what you'll do is just rest about 45 seconds to a minute before you'll hit that two more times. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do, this band actually broke. You can get creative if you have different types of bands. Um, this is the thicker, heaviest blue one that I have. Again, it's broken, so if you have one that has handles, you can use that as well. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna do two exercises, an arm, superset with a tricep. 
You're gonna typically do three rounds of all of this. I'm just showing you the first round and you can repeat as necessary. So for the hammer curl with the twists, what I do is I'll have my band, no matter what color, I'll pick the resistance I wanna use. From here, I'm gonna choke up on it, get a good solid resistance, stand up nice and straight, make sure everything's in a good neutral position. I'm not slammed out in extension as I'm coming up. I'm not overextending just to get the weight up. From here, I'm gonna do a start with a hammer curl and I'm gonna go into a normal traditional bicep curl. So hammer, twist, up to a traditional. Back down nice and slow. Hammer, twist, the top. What you wanna make sure you're not doing is as you're coming up, you're letting your elbows come out or as you're coming up, your elbows are coming back and you're kinda of just like trying to curl it into your chest. You don't wanna do that. So hammer curl up, halfway through, twisting up, keeping those elbows locked in at my side. All right, so from there, I'll get into my tricep overhead extension. I've got two bands here, two reds. You can try different ones, try whichever one you wanna do. Just pick one that works for you. I've got it mounted here at the base of my rig. What I'll do is you can separate them however you want. You can put them together. I'm gonna come up over here, one leg up like this. I'll let the band slide back in my hands to kind of get into a good position. When I know I've got a good resistance, come up, elbows back. So I'm almost like I can look through and see the camera from underneath, underneath my tricep. I'm gonna go straight up, just like this. What I like to do when I'm doing these, as I'm coming up the top, I'll kind of take my hands and I'll point my thumbs away from me. Just like this. Nice and easy, trying to keep your elbows consistent. I'm not dropping down, not pushing out this way. Elbows back, just so I can really isolate the tricep. All right, that's the second superset, second set of exercises. We'll jump into the third. All right, so the third set of exercises, again, we're hitting the arms, biceps, triceps, we're supersetting them. So you should be able to go back to back. This is the last uh, set of exercises you're gonna be doing. So this first bicep, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab the bands, they're attached to the base of my rig. You can attach them um, anywhere around the ground if you have a heavy, uh, heavy dumbbell, heavy kettlebell, whatever you have. I'm gonna step into both of them. I've got two separate ones. I'm gonna walk out. So obviously the further I walk out, the more tension I'm gonna build up. Next thing is where my feet are. So I'm gonna have my feet closer together, right? This doesn't matter so much. Close together, so as I'm curling, these bands can go through and on the sides of my legs without messing up and getting caught up on my shorts. So let's jump in. So the key with these is to keep tension on the bicep, right? So as I'm coming up, obviously there's a place where it gets a little bit easier, like right here. So as soon as I get to that point, squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Trying to keep my elbows in a good, consistent place. Reps and sets, all depends on you, how strong you are, how much resistance you're using. Pick one that fits you where you're at. If you wanna to go to failure, you can do that as well. All right, so the tricep, what we're gonna do is a single arm across the chest extension. Okay, so I have this band here attached higher up, right around eye level. Is what you're doing, is you're getting extension here for the tricep and you're isolating it and you're able to just come across your chest and kind of keep yourself honest. So what I'll do is I'll get myself in a good position, grabbing it, whatever works for you. Here, I'm gonna get set, build my tension up and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is focus on keeping this elbow nice and consistent. Well, that broke, I need new bands. Be sure to check your bands. If they're a little bit old, you might have to get some new ones. So just like this, attach it up nice and high. Since the band's a little bit longer, I'll have to choke up a little bit more. But same idea, get set, come out a little bit, get my arms set. This is a little bit heavier of a band. 
So again, you're gonna have to adjust according to what you have available to you. Here, I'm gonna come down and extend. Just like this. So the key is I'm trying to keep this elbow consistent, right? You don't wanna to be too much moving around. You wanna keep it pinned to your stomach and extend and really try to flex the tricep. Think of you as if you're holding this band as if I had two bottles or a bottle here, a bottle of wine or whatever. And at the very end of it, I'm gonna to try to dump out that bottle of wine. So I'm here, got my bottle of wine in my hand, push, 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 and I'm dumping out that bottle of wine. And again, obviously you'll do both arms. I'm gonna show you just one for the sake of this video. That's it, third set of exercises. And that's it guys, let me know how you liked it. Leave a comment below, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, share it with your friends, and until next time, deuces.